Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is day eight, I believe, of our 24-day challenge. One video every day, Monday through Friday, for the entire month of July. And today, the topic today, I gotta be honest with you, I believe it's a game changer. I've been doing this business for a long time. Hired a bunch of agents, and I think this is one of the top five reasons why People don't succeed in this business and they're gone before you know it. I've seen so many times with my own agents, to put it bluntly, it's a business killer. So if you tend to overthink stuff, this video is for you. The one thing that kills so many agents, and I mean, I've got agents right now who've been licensed for two years, never set an appointment, never wrote a single application, but they're on every single training call. They're great people. The kind of people you just like, you know, if you just would do something, you'd be so good at this business. But they never do anything. And you got to wonder, why is that? Well, it's because they just won't start. They're the kind of overthinkers. Look, you know the kind of people I'm talking about. They have to know everything there is about everything before they even get started. You only come to a couple conclusions. Either our training really sucks. I mean, there really is no one size fits all type of training, right? Or the agent is just waiting around until they know everything there is to know about selling life insurance face to face or virtually. Every what if you can possibly think about, every objection in detail, the what ifs for every product. I got some that memorize the product sheets for the carriers. Well, that's a, that alone will keep you in the, in the uh, do nothing mode other than the constant learning mode, never doing anything to try to learn five or six different products with every single carrier. And talk about overthinking is the point. The only way to learn this business is like anything else is by taking action, by doing. Here's what I can promise you. No matter how much preparation, how many what ifs you think you are going to uh, to run into when you're on the phone virtually, face-to-face, -face, Zoom, whatever, you're never going to know until you get in the pool. you got to jump in, start kicking to learn how to swim, as Angela's analogy, which is very good in this situation. But I can promise you, with all of that overthinking, you're going to mess up. You're going to lose sales. And you're going to embarrass yourself at times. And you're going to throw away leads that you paid for. I like to ask people this. Did your parents, when you started walking, did they sit you down and tell you, hey, listen, Stephen, you got to stop trying to walk because uh, you keep falling down. It's clear that you weren't made for walking. Fail to walk. You fall down too many times. Well, of course not, right? That's how we learn. We fall down. We scratch our knees. We get bloodied up a little bit. Mama patches them up for us, and we try it again. We learn to walk by failing. Did you read a couple of books, study some manuals, take courses trying to learn how to walk? Of course not. Did you ask a bunch of what if questions? Of course not. You couldn't even read. Maybe that was a good thing. You eliminated one element that would slow you down. You eliminated one reason for not trying to walk. You just put one foot in front of the other and you had belief, because your parents and your mama told you you could walk, that you could walk and this was expected of you to take action Learn to walk. We're all waiting. Look, well, enough of my rant. Let's get on with the topic of today's video. There's one simple aged old principle at the root of it all. And I would say it's responsible for all of my successes, right? And that is taking consistent, imperfect action towards a specific goal, right? I gotta jump in both feet, just charge the door, and clean up the mess later. That's, that's just my personality, and many of you aren't that way. But you might want to get a little bit that way because until you take action, you're not going to learn anything. And then you got to go get a 9 to 5 job. But basically it means that even on those days where you're tired, even when you're stressed and you got a hundred things to worry about, just do something to move yourself towards your goal. When I first started out, I wanted to write one new application, talk to one new person every single day. Just take action and do it consistently without fear that you're not getting every single little thing right. And you know what? The simple fact is that most people are going to throw in the towel and quit just after a couple of weeks anyways, right? Their eye quit factor is so small. As soon as those winds of resistance starts to blow against their pursuit of their goal, they cut and run. So by simply sticking around longer than anyone else, 
you're going to win by default. And that is why if you got a shot at successfully owning a skill set that allows you to wake up every single day doing what you want to do. Owning your own income. Own your skill set. Own your income. You can get leads anywhere in the United States. You can get leads in any city you're in, especially when you're working virtual and go to work, regardless of where you're at. It's a phenomenal opportunity. When you own your income, you own your time, and maybe you can invest your time into others that have needs that you can help with, rather than always focusing on the dollar bill. Some people worry about competition, want to know everything there is to know about other life insurance products, or about what other agents might be selling or talking to your prospects about. I tell them not to worry about the competition. First off, there's more than enough people in this world that want what we have to offer. There's enough to go around. But secondly, this is a skill set that takes a bit of effort. A whole lot of people don't stick around anyway. They have a very low I quit factor, as I said. And as soon as it ain't easy, they're gone. Now, I wish they weren't true, but these days it's just the way things are. In any case, that proves my point even further. That if you show up, stick around, take action, the chances are very, very good that eventually you will hit your goals. And boy, let me tell you, one thing I can promise you, and I know because I've experienced it after 40 years in this industry, it will be worth it. And once you find success here and finally can put that money thing behind you, life really begins. And what I mean by that is most of us have to focus on that money thing 24-7 until we meet our obligations and then we get a day off or we can afford to take a day off until we start all over again the next week and week to week to week to week we're working to pay our bills and once you have enough money coming in to meet or exceed those bills you can now focus on what you were born to do right you can start really living life so you want to change your life here it is consistent imperfect action is the game changer. It is the controllable that you and I can control. Showing up and taking action. Being relentless in the pursuit of our goals. Showing up every day. Taking action. Even imperfect action. Even while you're learning. Be willing to be bad before you're good. Be willing to be bad before you're great. That's the point. In pursuit of that, you will get good and you will eventually be great. If you're feeling motivated and you're ready to just commit to something that is proven to work, time-tested and proven by thousands of successful agents, I believe that being a mortgage section, final expense, life insurance agent could be a great fit for you. The same way it's been a great fit for many of our producers, many of our elite producers from all backgrounds of life. Finally, you're involved in something that doesn't matter what your skin color is, doesn't matter what your education is, the car you drive, who your parents were, or what zip code you live in. If you apply effort and apply consistent, imperfect action towards a, a specific goal for long enough, you will win. You win here by doing those three things and never quitting. You fail once you quit. Thanks for spending time with me today. As always, I am grateful for your support and hope that I returned that favor by providing some ideas and some value to your pursuit of the greatest industry on the planet. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.